For nearly 40 years, the David Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage outside Nairobi has been rearing orphaned elephants in herds so they can be released back into the wild. But can a group of these older orphans show the empathy needed to save a very special baby? This is Endotto. He's just a year old and is one of the latest arrivals at the orphanage. Conservationist Giles Clark is joining head keeper Edwin Lasucci at breakfast time. He knows he wants to get some feed. Do you want to? Hello, beautiful. <laughs> can you try it? I can try. Yeah. Okay, that's such a good boy. That is a serious bottle of milk. How much milk do they get? He gets four pints every three hours. Mm -hmm. I think you're finished, sweetheart. It's finished. Just look how tiny that trunk is. You can is. blow that trunk, and Hello. that's how you get to make friends with them. How do you make friends with them? When you blow down the trunk, they get to identify your scent. Really? You and blow down their trunk? Yeah, if they give it to you. Okay. Then I can't just take it. No. <laughs> Sometimes if it's itchy, we assist them to oh. scratch and silent. <laughs> they feel comfortable sometimes. Does that feel good? Is that like having a scratch? Yes, yeah, like having a scratch inside. Ndotto's been looked after at the orphanage for 12 months. His blanket is designed to recreate the warmth he would get if he still had his mum at his side. Just moments after his birth, Ndotto was found alone, confused and barely alive by local villagers who called in the team from the orphanage. Ndotto was the smallest baby they'd ever taken in and they didn't think he'd survive. But he was a fighter, and with their specialist care, he pulled through. A year later, Ndotto is fighting fit. But if he's ever going to make it back into the wild, it's crucial he starts spending quality time with the other orphans. Scientists now know that elephants live in sophisticated social groups. It's thanks to their emotional intelligence that they have such a strong sense of community, a strict hierarchy and intricate ways of communicating. In the herd, it's the adult elephants that teach the babies this code of conduct. But there's a problem. Ndotto thinks he's already in a herd, but that herd is made up of the humans that saved his life. This means he now prefers the company of people rather than his own kind. What is he doing, Edwin? He's just playing and enjoying being with us. Just having the contact. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Baby elephants, when you squat down, you are a toy to them. So they want to play. They want to play. They want to push around. By pushing around. around. <laughs> yeah. Him coming to push is just f sort of fun or play. Okay. He's not like charging you. No, no, he's no. not being naughty. Oh, here we go. <laughs> pushing now? Yeah, he's going to. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't do it. Don't push. Uh, That's a serious game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's seriously strong. <laughs> I'm trying not to push back. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, enough. Enough, yeah, thank not you. Enough. You're too strong for us. Yeah. We give up for you. <laughs> Play is an important part of growing up, but Ndotto has no idea that if he doesn't learn the rules of how to behave as an elephant, he risks being shunned by the herd, which could be disastrous. If an elephant is left alone, that elephant can easily be stressed to death by loneliness. You really think an elephant can die of loneliness? Yes, I have seen it happen. They almost like give up the world to give live. Give up the world to live because they think they're all by themselves. They don't have anyone with them and they just die from a heart broken. Undoto cannot survive by himself. He needs the company of all the others. 
Edwin and the team are hoping that a group of older orphans will come to Undotto's rescue, and that thanks to their extraordinary emotional intelligence, they'll be able to understand what he's been through and teach him what he needs to know. Good boy. Tomorrow, Undotto will have to find the courage to bond with the herd. He'll face that challenge alone, but tonight, Keeper Julius Shivega will sleep here too. Well, I'm gonna say good night. Yeah, very sweet, baby. <laughs> High five. You can blow, you can blow his trunk. He says goodbye, okay? <laughs> nice keeper, nice friend of ours, okay? Alrighty, thank you so much. Thank you again, Charles. He loves you because you have got a feeling for him. That's good. Don't make me thank cry. Thank you, man. See you. Thank you, bye-bye.